Wake to righteousness and sin not is God's message to us. 1 Corinthians 15.34 Be ye holy, for I am holy. 1 Peter 1.16 Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. Romans 12.1 Purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new lump. 1 Corinthians 5.7 Let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. 2 Timothy 2.19 Denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Titus 2.12 be diligent that ye may be found in him in peace without spot and blameless second peter three fourteen let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of christ philippians one twenty seven have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them ephesians five eleven put ye on the lord jesus christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof romans thirteen fourteen i beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul first peter two eleven from sin then in every sense and aspect god is calling us as exceedingly sinful the abominable thing which he hates and will avenge he warns us against it he speaks to us as shapen in iniquity and conceived in sin carrying evil about with us nay filled with it and steeped in it not merely as diseased and requiring medicine or unfortunate and requiring pity but as guilty under law under sentence dead in trespasses and sins with inevitable judgment before us he neither palliates nor aggravates our case but calmly tells us the worst showing us what we are before calling us to be what he has purposed to make us from all unholiness from all uncleanness from all unrighteousness from all corruption from all crooked ways from all disobedience from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit he is calling us